Welcome, this tutorial we're going to have a look at how to put a delay in a subroutine on the Pico Bright. So let's open up one of the previous lessons. We'll open up the lead sequence lesson from uh, tutorial 2. So this is our fourth tutorial. The last one we actually did was the cycle. Um, so how to create cycles and to make things loop numerous times on and off. But this time we're going to place those delays in a subroutine. So let's have a look at the subroutine tool first of all. So this is the sub tool and we can double click on the options and we'll see a few things. One, we need to select a, another tool in there which there's nothing in the list yet. So, and we can also choose our background and we can annotate it as well. So this will be delay, whatever the delay is that we're calling. So, oops, I might just call it um, 0.5 SEC like we had before and we'll change the background so it actually looks like a delay. So at the moment we've got 0.5 SEC and it looks almost identical except uh, you might notice that behind the uh, 0.5 SEC is the word sub. Okay, so that's how we can turn, uh, tell between them. This will not be a delay in itself. And in fact, we can test that out if we delete the delay and we put in our subroutine. Does it work like a delay? Well, let's see if we hook it up. Um, there's still an error. And we can hover there and it says item linked via label not found. So what we actually have to do is we have to put in our header, our subroutine start. And in the subroutine start that has a name and we can call it delay. And that will be the word that gets populated. We don't need an annotation, that's fine. So let's have a look now in the sub tool. You'll see we've got the word delay. There it is. And if we click there, there it goes. So now it's found our subroutine. So whenever it gets to this tool in the flowchart, it will jump down to the subroutine. We don't need to physically put a link in, but we will need to finish off our subroutine. Uh, of course, there's nothing in that subroutine, but at the end, just showing you the tool, so the sub end tool, it will actually go back to the sub call tool or the subroutine tool. Okay, so uh, so anything we put in here can be called from that point. So what are we going to put in? Well, we're going to put in our delay. Too easy. Um, and you'll see the use of this is uh, even more powerful after using the subroutine. Um, we'll also be able to put different things in the subroutine like a switch. So we can actually uh, use the switch on the back of the Pico Bright to switch between the, the states. But we'll just look at the delay for the moment. Okay, so now we've got a 0.5 second delay and that's going to work the same. But the good thing about a subtool is we can actually replace all of these other tools with some more subtools. Okay, so we'll just select all of those and control, we can unselect the that one and we can select that one. Horizontal distribute, there they are. And we can hook them up like they were last time. But instead of these being delays, these are subroutines. And I'll show you that in the code in a second. Let's space this one out a bit more. We'll do those again. Horizontal alignment and distribute. There we go. Okay, so let's have a look at the assembly code. I haven't shown you this yet. So in the assembly code, you'll see that we've got all of these uh, tool headers down there or the tool labels on the left hand column and we've got the actual ASM instruction and beside the ASM instruction is going to be the file or the number that the instruction is using 
and then we've just got green comments down the side so you'll see in the call subroutine it has call subroutine call delay and here's our where's our delay header uh, delay is up the top and then it says go to delay 19 so there we have it down there so delay 19 is the one that's being used and it goes through the delay then it returns back to the subroutine and so each time we have a subroutine it's simply that one instruction call and that actually saves us a whole lot of code space so um, a delay itself that delays about 12 lines of code but a call is just one line of code so effectively we're going to save probably about 60 lines of code by using six subroutine calls and one delay instead of six delays okay so we save a lot of code space and have a look at this to change all of the timing at once we can change that to point say point one point one and we'll put in point one sec up the top okay and let's program that and you'll see it's changing really fast but if that's too fast for you you can go in and change and let's go back to say 0 0.8 0 0.8 of a second change that annotation as well okay and then hit the program button okay so it's changing all of the spacing of all of those delays because it's actually just calling one delay using the subtool so that's how to put a delay in a sub tool and I hope you've enjoyed that and the next thing we'll be doing I think is putting a switch in a subroutine so till then bye